सूरज डोंट वेट उनका जो बस If you touch the screen, it will give a mark from your side. You have to do the undo. Okay, so say there is three things we have. Okay, name it like. Okay. So first we have front end. Okay. Every full stack development need front end. That is UI part, like user interface. Is like whenever user like user cannot like uh, understand uh, whatever the client or user like they don't understand the business logic they basically see the interface so say this is front and then well So we have back end. And last we have database. So after like user, so in front end, what user will do? user will some front end ui we have some form right so that form will like user need to give some value right so whenever there is some registration form or login form so in that form user need to give some input so that input whatever user is giving right so that input need to save somewhere so where that input will save input will save in our database okay So these three things, these are these like these are the three things. Okay, front end, back end, and database that makes a full stack. And suppose say. In full stack, right? So in front end, what we have? So in front end, you say we have HTML. These are the technologies or language. I hope everyone joined. Right. Those who okay. So HTML and this cascading style sheet, right? CSS. CSS. And like we have JavaScript also, JS. Can you tell me your name? Nine one nine double seven. Tell me. Please join like in join with your name. It actually it will confuse your holder. Okay, no issue. So now there will some request. So yes. in front end. It will send some requests to here, right? So there, what are, what is this? It is actually browser, like sending some requests and request will go and validate that request. It will check that request. So checking portion, right? So checking portion actually done by the back. So whatever the logic, right? 
So you can say whatever the web services we have, we can do here. So we can say like for logic, we have Java. So there are a lot of things, right? Java, so and you can say like it will save the request, it will check and same way. It ah, will respond. Okay. And that response come to the front end. Okay. Sorry. Like this front end, it will be the browser. Okay, like whoever using like they are using some laptop or desktop or whatever the mobile. Okay, so there they have some browser. Okay, so. Like you say, internet. Okay, so and now whoever is using this UI, he will send the request. Send the request. Ah, watermelon. It's all about custard. Badam fruit salai. Ah, watermelon. It's all about custard. Badam fruit salai. User will send request. What happened? What happened? Hello, Shubhaprato. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear. Hello, Shubhaprato. I am yes, interrupting one minute. No issues. Shubhaprato, am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Okay. Actually, in this uh, Zoom. There is a enable security. Okay, by default, it is a enable waiting. You need yeah, to I, like I have to accept them one by one, like admit all. No, no, not one by one. Oh, oh, uncheck karna padega, automatically. Okay, okay, okay. So yes. security. And also from this meeting, I am in the editing. I think, sir, you are the host. Can you enable that? Uh, ah, or... Not non, non enable karna padega, uncheck karna padega. Yeah, yeah, now you are host, sir. Okay. I'm I'm making you again. Okay. 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 One minute. One minute. Yes, <laughs> sir. You can go ahead. Yes, sir. You can go ahead and take the call. I'm making you first title. Uh, okay. I'm making you first again. Should I host this meeting again and uh, share the link host. with them? No, no, you, you reclaim host. Reclaim host. Okay, okay, okay. Which name you have joined? I want to make you host. Okay, sir. Okay. Just wait. Okay, you can reclaim host. Which name you have joined? Uh, Alok Haldar, uh, sir, this is oh, your sir. account you gave me, right? Uh, this okay. I, I think you are the whole Okay. Take the call. Take the call. Now I will do first. Carry on. Okay. So, what to do, sir? Like uh, enable anything, right? No, no. Enable or disable? Disable, okay, waiting. Okay, no. that means everybody can join directly. Disable waiting. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so basically send request and here in back end you say like we have web services like all the logics okay so you say okay and okay she can mute yourself i'm muting so in web services we can use java for logic so these are the languages or technology like these are the languages we use for our backend so it can be java it can be python okay so whatever the language you prefer you should like in do the code in back okay and after that it will come to the database okay it will check and database you can say like a lot of database are there okay no square okay. So my square is there Go database is there okay and so these are the database there, there is c also c sharp or and here square post grade whatever the data So now after this, we see, right, these are the thing. Okay. Like all these three, to, uh, like all these three, when come to together, come this together, this makes a application full stack. Okay. So an application should be dynamic. Okay. Dynamic and static application. Can anyone tell me like, what is the difference between static and dynamic application? Even here. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. So static application like uh, that is that is front end and uh, yeah like static means it if the front end uh, so is, stat static means I like a login page Facebook login, log page. login yeah, page like page. only the front end and there is no function there right function. so it cannot yes, perform okay whenever you try to insert the data it cannot perform so that is static okay and dynamic means that when it comes to advanced part right uh, enterprise edition so it become dynamic okay dynamic module so in dynamic module we have servlet and okay let me explain so you guys understand right what is full stack means so full stack means these three things should be there yes sir otherwise it cannot be full stack okay front end backend and database this all three together uh, complete the application okay so now let's say um, sir yes sir, what is ccs uh, that you have written in front end sorry sir sir right uh, right yes sir css it means yes Cascading style sheet, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now let's say. So this is the full stack, and now we will see the roadmap. Okay, what we need to. What we need to do, like to learn these things, we need to follow some steps. Okay. So. Hello. Hi, sir. I have one doubt, sir. Yeah. Ask. 
Yeah, there is a, a lot of technology addition like a React, a View, Angular. Where we can use that technology in full stack? Okay, okay. So this is the very common thing. So first of all, you learn lot of things. Okay, so but you don't know when and where to implement those technologies and where these technologies is needed. Do you know? Like you say, Mon and Mean Stack, you already done. Okay. Uh, can you tell me your name? Whoever it is. Yeah, my name is Nikhil. Okay, Nikhil. So tell me, like mean and mon, do you master those things like mean stack and mon stack? That mean having like Angular, like Angular, JavaScript, uh, Node.js, and I think uh, there's some databases there and Express for the server side. Okay. So these are the things. And for mon stack, there is uh, React, I think, React mon. Uh, yeah. Uh, Marn is like React, uh, some database, Express, and also like uh, uh, Node.js is there. Okay. So do you know, right? Uh, those are the things, yes. For server side, you use like Node.js. Okay. There you use JavaScript or Angular uh, scripting language. Okay. That's the different language. Okay. You use. And that's the thing. Like those are the diff different technology you learn. That, uh, that with those technologies, you can build more advanced, like uh, more, what you say, a reliable platform. Okay. And there's some like uh, advanced framework. You can say like Angular is called framework. Okay. Those are the front end framework you are uh, saying. Those are the frame. First, you know the basic things. If you don't know the basic, right, how it will actually, what is the flow of the one? You know the what uh, what is the flow of the work? How you actually connect your DB with uh, Express and all? There is course origin and course over there. Post, uh, like uh, uh, what uh, like uh, I'm not recalling it right now. There's another server uh, like post. Uh, Postman. No, no, that that is like API. Postman is for API testing. Okay, that is. Like in uh, uh, that Node.js, there is a server like Express, Course, and there's another server. Like uh, if you go through that, uh, you can see like there's another server. Okay. So these are the things like if you know, like those are the different, okay, different platform. And this is different Java platform. Okay. And you can like uh, front end, you can use like for Java, we uh, uh, prefer to use Spring Framework, okay, Spring Boot, uh, like Eclipse, or we say like in backend, we use uh, Spring Framework. Okay, that, that's the advanced portion, okay. And you can use Servlet also and JSP page also. Okay, those are the, like you say, uh, gateway of, like those are the simplest thing, like basic, fundamental, Servlet, JSP, Okay, if you understand those things, JSP, servlet, and all, you understand what are the uh, controller. In next come MVC pattern after that. Okay. So I actually told you right here, I should like show you in uh, that roadmap. Okay, these are the roadmap okay. here. So let's say. In roadmap, we stack Java, right? Okay, let me use Notepad, it will help. Okay. Okay, uh, so I already made a thing like roadmap. I will share this roadmap to you. Where is it? So 
Yeah, I have. So, if you see, like this is Java full stack roadmap. So, let me contact these are the things. Okay, these are the branches you can say. Okay. So in full stack, we need to understand core Java. Okay. So what is core Java? I hope everyone know the uh, core Java or else I, I will show you, right? I will go with the schedule. Okay. So first it comes core Java, we will start from core Java. So inside core Java, what we have? So we have basic variable declaration, some data type like those are the inbuilt data type you can say okay and there are some type casting i want to tell you like uh, before like what is type casting right so basically it is a data conversion okay if we want to convert the data types right type casting need for that okay so like say we have string data type okay. that will hold some string data and I want to convert that uh, stream to some like uh, character and like I want, I don't want that whole string. I want the first character of that stream. Okay. So I can do the conversion using typecasting. Okay. So we will see like what are the typecasting we have. Then it comes next. We have oops concept. Okay. Object oriented program concept. Okay. So in oops concept i hope everyone knows we have some like uh, concept that inheritance like uh, polymorphism encapsulation and like uh, those are the concept we have right abstraction and all so string handling how we actually handle the string and all like inside string right so if you see right we have data type so string is like one type of data type okay so you can say like non uh it is like non-primitive uh data type string string non-primitive yes string non-primitive data type yes and it having its own functions okay if you work with string string handling string having its own functions okay. so we will see like how we actually handle the string how we uh like uh to upper like if, if we have like smaller, like every string, right? So string means what? Like it is a uh, like sequence of like a character, right? We have multiple character or you can say like we have a sentence, okay? That uh, some character that complete uh, the word, okay? So like if we have like some of the methods we have there, like we can do the uh, uppercase like that uh, makes the string Totally capital lowercase that make the string uh, I think uh, that make the string smaller right so these are the things we will see like these are the basic things okay okay so after that we will see some project okay and in advance okay advance is very important so in advanced portion, which is JWE, Java Enterprise Edition. So here we have sublet. So if you know the sublet, right? So can anyone tell me what sublet actually is?
so basically like uh, servlet like it is it you can say like it is a java class that is used to extend the capability of server that host the application okay uh, like it uh, we use this servlet to uh, like uh, uh, get the access uh, like what you say like uh, request and re respond of the pro uh, program right uh, this actually we use to get the request and send the response to the user like this servlet is like a controller okay whenever user hit the ui ui send some request okay and servlet it will take that request and it will process it and it will check the servlet it will check that data whatever the user requesting is it present in database or not and it will send the response to the whoever the user is okay so everyone understood right what uh, servlet actually used for it actually so this whenever we add some servlet to the project right so before adding servlet the project is totally static okay we are using the static project whenever we actually insert this servlet whenever we implement the servlet then and then the project becomes dynamic okay because it makes the application totally enterprise edition and you are getting the request from the user and you are responding against the like whatever the request user requesting it will throw the response as per that okay so servlet is basically used to uh, used to throw the request and respond okay like uh, yeah it uh, like what you say uh, and it is actually like uh, uh, say like server right so it actually handle the http request also like we already discussed right that uh, request so where this request coming from so some link right http so this servlet is response for that http request and response okay so there are some lot of method here for this servlet you i i hope those who use servlet they already know there we have do get do post do put do delete these are the uh inbuilt what you say these are the inbuilt uh, uh in uh, like functions that are already inside servlet class okay we will discuss like what are the uh we will see like in core java we will discuss like what are the classes that already exist in uh java right whenever we use the java in our system in our windows whenever we use uh, like install java right so while installing java it already like uh, install some packages that having those like already in like those are the classes that required to install the java right otherwise it will like throw the error so there are some inbuilt classes or uh, and there are some user defined classes so inbuilt classes means they like those are the classes that is already existing in our uh, java right so if you see there is some util packages there and there we have like uh, so uh, what do you say uh, lot of classes like uh, array list list and all those things are already there we need to just uh, call the classes okay and there are some user defined like uh, say uh, those who are programmer right a developer like we are doing the program so as our need we can declare some functions or method you can say those are the user defined functions or method okay and there are some filter filter is for like security purpose like uh, yes these are the basic like security filter it will filter that uh, like many purpose we can use this filter okay filter chain like and last or uh, not the least we have jsp okay so these are the jsp what jsp is right java uh, service pages okay java servlet page so basically whenever jsp and what is the difference between jsp and html page can anyone tell me okay so basically 
HTML, basically we just write a code over there, right? All the HTML code and uh, whatever the, just HTML body we provide there. If we want to like uh, do some functional, like logical things, right? Can we do in HTML? Yes, Java is a technology which is used to create dynamic web apps. Correct. Yeah, standard. Uh, yeah, that we cannot like structure that page, right? As you like using JSP, like we cannot uh, give the uh, logic or function inside HTML, right? In in case of JSP, we can use some logic. Okay, it can capable to take logic logic also. Okay, so. That makes the page dynamic. Okay, so uh, it actually can uh, work with sublet, like sublet page that is required the like HTTP response, and you can like uh, 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 like you can totally like give uh, Java code over there, like to you can uh, create functions inside JSP. Okay, and there is lot of libraries there, like uh, uh, I think that. Tab library is there to use the, uh, like, what you say, like, that is the function. And that is, you know, whatever the C tag over there, like, uh, that is like conditional tag, you can say, like, we can use condition, whatever condition we have in JSP. Okay. Lot of way we can like set we can set the attribute in JSP page. Okay, that's that's the thing like we use JSP. Lot of it. Okay, so next we have JDBC. So for JDBC we already see right. So first we see like front end, then back end. Okay, this is the back end portion. Okay, that JSP is front end. It's okay, but coming core Java to sublet filter, this comes to back end. And after the JSP comes front end, and now we have database connectivity. Okay, so JDBC Java database connectivity. So uh, that we will use whatever we will see, like we use MySQL. That in our like organization, we use MySQL as per our client. Like lot of client prefer MySQL. Okay, and step five. What step five? Out. Yeah, scanner class and okay, so I'm not seeing the chat. Okay, that is coming behind. Yeah, those are the like uh, already integrated class. So yeah, say Raul, any doubts? Step five, I didn't get you what step five is, like what you are saying. Okay. So JDBC connection. So if you see, right, these are the full stack. Okay. And there's some like advance of JS, uh, like uh, sublet, there's some lot of things like development. Okay. So say like in development, we have, these are the hosting server like, okay, AWS Cloud, Google Cloud. These are the live hosting server, you can see. <clears throat> okay, this will take three months, 90 days. Okay, to cover this. Like I will cover before that, like, and I will take some test. Okay, how you like uh, learn these things. Okay, so I hope like it will take two and a half months cover all these things. So we will do some special class also where we will deploy some project, okay, using server. And Spring Boot coming, uh, I'm coming later to Spring Boot. It is different framework, okay. So next, what we have, IDs. So in, so this ID is like where we actually do our codes. So if anyone do code in uh, like uh, notepad or like uh, text format in like your system, don't do it. 
okay or else you cannot uh, see the error while you are getting the error so this id is like uh, code editor like where we actually do the codes okay so eclipse id is there like spring tool suit is there okay uh, IntelliJ ID is there and NetBeans. NetBeans, I hope so. It is very like popular ID. Okay. Back, uh, like when I was in like uh, back to those days when I was in learning in school and colleges, like I used this ID. Okay. NetBeans. Like now everyone using this Eclipse uh, on. Yeah. So, Okay. Anyone saying anything? So import JDBC, load JDBC, establish database, create, execute, handle, and huh? so yeah. So you know these things, Rahul. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, you I uh, have not covered API part. Yeah, RESTful API we we will cover. Okay, so. First of all, APIs, you have to understand what do you mean by APIs, okay. So APIs basically, it is like you say, there is Spring APIs is there, okay, those are the advanced part, okay. And if you say like APIs, it comes into sublet, okay. If you know, what do you mean by APIs, can you tell me, like. Sir, where uh, I API, API is that? API is that the application uh, programming interface, which is the communicate between the two applications with the API. Yes. So API actually it is doing the request to your database, right? Like whatever in front end, right? User requesting something, right? User having registration page, user giving uh, his or her details, right? In registration page. And after giving some details, user will hit the uh, register button. Okay. Application programming interfaces. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, Raul. That is good. Okay. You are very like uh, uh, not like your interfaces, you know. Good. Okay. Application programming interfaces. Yeah. Like application, whatever we are. So those are we actually work with interfaces like. Uh, we can we are not going to write a code in single java application okay so it can be lot of uh, files okay we will say like if we need database connection it should be a separate connection class for it okay we should uh, inherit those things okay yeah best example oh, yeah that good that good. okay so what i am saying right uh, what I, where was i apis right so it is actually uh, performing like a uh, user is uh, sending some request and respond, right? Uh, against of that, it is giving some response. So if you see sublet is a API, okay, HTTP API it is having, okay, it will like uh, handle the request and respond this sublet. And yes, we have like Spring Boot also, it is very advanced framework, you can say. Okay, whoever is asking, okay, are you understanding? So API, you can use servlet also that we have do get do post that I already said previously. Okay, those are the like uh, interacting with your database, do get, like do get means what you are doing. You are getting some data. Okay, so if user wants to populate his details, like if, if user wants to view his details, right, somewhere, so user want to view his details after registration, user hit, I want to view, view button. So view button will do what? It will go to sublet, that JSP page will hit the sublet. Sublet will, uh, there is lot of function. Okay, so we will use do get. So user, uh, so sublet will hit the do get method. Okay, inside do get, we have logics and all. Okay, so it is what it is doing. It is getting the data from the database to the user. Are you getting my point? This is the API thing. So in Spring Boot, so Spring Boot, you can say like, we have like, uh, sorry, so where is the Spring Framework? So in Spring Framework, if you come, so don't confuse between Spring Boot and Spring Framework. 
if you know the spring boot it it is basically a sub project of spring framework spring framework is the main thing okay like it is a derivative class of spring framework like it is a sub project of spring spring framework okay mm, google map also use so. okay okay now so here if you see like we have lot of things in spring framework okay so spring boot is like yeah what spring boot uh, like what this thing make more popular actually whenever comes to spring boot right it is actually no need like it is already like everything is there okay because this is like sub project of spring it is basically inheriting all the technologies of spring right and in spring boot we it is very easy to develop the back end okay in spring boot if you see there's lot of code that is comes in an annotation and you will see like annotation spring orm is there orm is one type of like object relational mapping okay this thing so spring orm is there hibernate is also there okay these are the things so if you come to db technology so this orm is kind of db technology object relational mapping okay so we have hibernate also okay so hibernate is an external external orm tool whenever we require this hibernate we need to like import those libraries okay but in case of spring framework right in spring framework this orm is already integrated in spring okay whenever we want to like uh, connect to our database okay we can use this orm spring orm okay that's the thing okay so api doubt is clear who is asking so servlet is also api so if you see like spring yes. so do you know like in mvc there is a controller like uh like a model view and controller okay so if you know what controller is controller is nothing but than advanced version of servlet okay it is an advanced version of servlet so api means where it, like it is uh, request mapping right you are asking for api means it is request mapping it is mapping right so those request mapping or get request and all those mappings right like those those are the advanced thing and if you understand servlet very well there is no problem to understand this spring mvc okay so what i am trying to tell you guys like don't go for everything first try to branch it out like why like basic things like what makes this application complete in basic way if if you know the basic things these are the basic concepts servlet now as days like servlet very like yeah developer like uh, no but fresher they don't go for servlet first they go for like mvc spring framework and all those like uh, advanced portion like those are the advanced this this is the spring framework okay these are the framework okay angular react those are the front end framework okay so basic things is html jsp okay and if you move advanced from html go for angular and react those are the advanced front end framework okay spring framework does not provide any plugins spring but yeah yeah plugins it provide plugins yeah maven gradle those are the project manager right rahul if you have voice you can speak up like actually this session we actually do like we will do this is fun way right so we will discuss and we will solve our problem not in a teaching way okay we will no we will try to understand the thing okay if you think like i am going to teach you like step by step it will very difficult i will clear i will basically clear your logic okay you will care to clear your logic right how this actually happened okay we will discuss step by step variable with variable method with method okay 
and you need to understand what actually java is java basically like java programming right it is yes platform independent and all like basically it is totally of like uh, object classes and interfaces and based on oops concept if you understand right so how we declare objects okay how we declare variables in class like how we declare variable like what is the main method in programming okay is it needed or not you need to understand so, okay those are the things comes in code code java okay so testing part is there and yes gradle raul you are saying right gradle and those things yeah those are the project management tools okay so that is also involved in full stack gradle and man okay okay gradle maven so what this gradle maven basically so basically we have a project like basically we cannot have like a, whatever like when we are going to build some project or build some application we are writing some codes and there's some error in codes like how we actually understand why this code is uh, like why this error happening like for why like to solve this error what dependencies is we needed so basically we don't think this so this thinking is for maven and gradle so they will check your code and they will like see what are the like uh, dependencies is needed it will ask you for inject those dependencies it will ask you first okay if you update with maven okay there there's some option update project okay if you go update the maven project it will i think inject the dependencies also or you can say like uh, there's some prompt xml file it will create and there we need to inject those dependencies okay so these are basically like uh, uh, like uh, maven and gradle it is like a management tool like uh, whatever dependencies where the error it happening and why it is happening it will give some message or it will give some solution for you okay if you hover your cursor to that error okay so these are the things maven and gradle okay and control version i hope you already know you already familiar with github git and these are the platform where we actually like uh, uh, what you say like uh, save our project like uh, it can be happen okay it can be happen when we are doing some code it can be happen some miss fault can be happen your project can be erased or your code can be erased okay for the backup or for the like uh, yes for the backup purpose you can uh, use the git or github there in each and every time you write or update the code it will save in github you need to push the code in github okay so there's lot of uh, like uh, useful things like you can collaborate your code with your colleagues okay in github yeah push the uh, local repository yes 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 right so yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. GitHub is a remote repository. Yeah, I think you guys already know these things. Okay. Okay, these are the things you need to. Know. So, these are the advanced portions, Spring Boot, and all. We are going to see. This. Okay, so I hope everyone here has your ID, right? Some kind of ID you are using. Okay. So let's say today we will see some like uh, basic uh, syntax and logics, like how we actually these things. Okay, VS Code. Yeah, that is good for UI designing and all. Yeah, you can write some, uh, uh, do some uh, backend, like you can do some code there also. You can install like Spring also, like STS over there yeah uh, vs code is good like visually it is very nice uh, like better than uh, like eclipse also the ui push 
yeah, everyone having their own preferences. Nice. Okay. But don't wait in uh, that, uh, what you say, <laughs> in notepad and all. Okay. <laughs> that is the wrong. So let's come to the thing. So before proceeding to some codes and all, I want to show you what are the topics we are going to cover. Okay. So in code Java, see here we have syntax output and these are the things we are going to cover. Okay. I hope everyone is here like uh, know these things. Okay. We will still see right those are the things. So first come to syntax, right? So in syntax, let's create a project. Our project and <laughs> and you need to name your project. Uh, say I, I can make package inside. So now, so what is the formula? First, everyone, I hope everyone is having their like Java installed in your system. So if you don't have like Java in your system, okay, I want to show you how you can install the Java in your system. Okay, I hope everyone having uh, Java in your system. You can write yes or no, so I can do the, uh, give the demo. Okay, I hope this is a basic thing you should have installed in here. Okay, and set the path variable. Okay, like and uh, you need to set the environment variable. Okay, otherwise your system will not detect. Okay. So. so before starting, right? So I want to say you like in Java. Okay. So everyone in Java, I hope you already know. So when we are going to create an application, right? So every application begins with a class name. Okay. And that class, class name must match with the file name. Okay. Remember. So whenever you are creating any kind of Java file, right? So first of all, Package. Okay. Let's say package name. Dot.
So here is a package. Now inside the package, say suppose I want to create a class. Okay. So creating a class must remember when we are creating a class, the class name should be start, the first letter should start with uppercase, capital. Okay. And whatever the like class name you are giving, right? It should match with your like uh, whatever the file name. This is the file name, right? We are creating a file, Java file. So whatever the file name, it should match with your class name. Let's say we are creating a class name, say So like this, I say EILP day one. Okay. Now here, so this is the like, uh, this is Eclipse and it, it will, before creating, it will show you like what are the methods you need. Okay, like if you want this methods or not, you can select this manually or you can write inside your class file, okay. So yes, I need this main method. Before selecting this, I will not select this, but we need this, okay. I'm finishing this. So it will create a file name and this file name should match with this class name. Everyone got this? Now say main, now if I want to now, we have this class. So if you want to know like, if, if we want to run some code, if we want to execute something, for that we need main method. So where is main method? So main method basically, if you see, right? So it is basically required, right? So before I say there is main method, okay. So, so Say like uh, before giving main method, okay. And I want to tell you that uh, main method is required, right? It is required to like uh, in every Java program, in every Java application, it is required to execute the program. If we don't give main method, so let's see what it will throw, like it will throw any error or not. So I want to create a variable, okay. So let's say, It will not like it will still uh, string and say so. What is the method of declaring any variable? So, first we give data type, okay. After that, variable name, after that, assignment operator, and after that, we give some value. So, let's say data type we give string, after that, we are giving variable. Suppose, say, uh, uh, we are giving some a okay this is a variable and after that assignment operator so equal to is a assignment operator now we are going to assign some value to this variable a okay. suppose say string and need to know like i will come to this thing okay. so string always there's some syntax so we should pass the value within a double quote in string. Whenever we work with string, string, the value of string should be passed within a double. Okay. Say like hello world. And now if I want to write, so if I want to uh, execute or print this thing, it will not, it will throw some error. So there is no system dot out dot print ln. and what system dot out dot print ln? It is a printing method in console. Okay. And it should come inside the main method. Okay. So it is not detecting because we don't give the main method. Now 
if uh, if we give the main method, say, without main method, your program cannot run. Say, public static void main. And so we will discuss why this public static void main. And we need here string args. Okay. args is for argument so basically this main method can have public class or public function also static and static class also it can be accessed okay so that we already have main method now now we are going to declare something okay so without this main method okay so coming to this okay so this also like if I want to describe this method, what should I do? Like what I need to do? I want to give some description, not a code, just a description. I want to describe my code. For that, what I need to do? Can anyone tell me? Okay. So there we have comment comment tag. Okay. So if you already know like uh, comment line tag. Okay. So there we have double uh, forward slash for comment the thing. So after like when we actually work in project on or whatever we developing, so there's lot, there can be lot of function, okay. And thousands of thousands lines of code. So for remembering like what function, like what is the purpose of those function, we can give some description. Okay, for that we use this double forward slash. So you can say like system in class and here we are going to say This, this line, right? This line is not executable. This is not a Java program. This is because of this double forward slash. Okay, now it is giving me error. Okay, now my Java comp compiler, it is not getting like what it is. Like it is not getting the code. Okay, it is syntax error, a lot of syntax error. So when I give this double slash, it is single line command, we say, because we are giving in a single line. There is multi line command also. Okay. So if I want to like give in multi line command, we can use like uh, forward slash star and end with star forward slash. Okay. So this is the method you use. Okay. So we can write anything multiple line command. You can say. So these are the command we use. Okay. Now let's say syslo system dot out dot print again. Now if I want to give some message here, hello world, save it and run this application. So here you can see hello world printing. Now let's modify this thing. Okay. So
तो लेट्स से लाइक ए मेथड एंड से वी से दिस इज द आउटपुट सिस्टम डॉट आउटपुट प्रिंट कर से आउटपुट एंड लाइक व्हाट यू से लाइक this print ln this is the method okay and this print ln excuse me and this print ln method like there's lot of printing method okay so if you say there is a called print method okay if you say it will do the same thing okay if you run it will run okay so it will print hello world but if i in next line do the same thing right if i in next line do the same thing and run this thing what it will give right. so you see right hello world and hello world printing this two print statement is printing giving the output but it is giving me side wise right so what is the difference of print and print ln now i am giving ln so ln means in next line in next line okay so now it should print after print ln now it should print this line in next line okay because i use print ln it should print the data in next line so these are the way we can use print and you can say these are the like uh, what you say like uh, we use this say uh, we can say we can display output to the console using this statement okay Uh, so. using the this system dot out dot print ln okay this statement say this function or method okay so now what we know so every class whenever we created a class right so it should like to perform the function it should it should have like a main method it should need main method and if it don't have any main method right so if i declare this things outside this main method first of all you need to understand right so this main method so how we say like these are the things inside this main method so if you notice we have this opening curly braces and closing so this will like whenever you are clicking this end curly braces it will say like here is the starting point so whole thing is a body of this main method okay are you getting so whatever we are giving inside this curly braces this is counting on this main method right this main method is performing whole the this whole function okay whatever function we are whatever logic we are giving so it is function like we are giving inside this main method right so without main method our function cannot be run so if i copy this things and try to give outside the main function it will giving me error okay some syntax error okay multiple markers at the line some syntax error because it is not detecting this system dot out at print ln this print ln method it is not detecting okay because this is outside of our main method okay
ओके तो लेट्स से नाउ लेट्स से आई वांट आई डोंट वांट टू लाइक प्रिंट लाइक दिस आई वांट अ वेरिएबल हु विल लाइक वेयर आई आई हैव दिस हेलो वर्ड एंड इफ आई कॉल दैट वेरिएबल इट विल प्रिंट दैट हेलो सो फॉर दैट व्हाट सो नाउ लेट्स से लाइक हाउ वी डिक्लेअर द वेरिएबल राइट नाउ कम्स टू वेरिएबल डिक्लेरेशन राइट सो how we will uh, uh, declare the variable so let's say first there's some stage okay variable declaration and initialization having some stage so you need to know right so say star and uh, say first we need to get data type okay data type after that what we are going to give variable okay okay then assignment operator like we are assigning some value to this variable and whatever the data type okay so every data type having its own syntax okay so if you use string to uh, to give the value right so there some syntax for string we use double quote for character we use single quote for integer we just pass the integer value right <clears throat> so now there is value this is the syntax now say data type whatever the data type i want to take like hello world it is a string total string so say hello world string st string right and string data type after that variable name whatever the variable name so read uh, equals to and now within a double quote we will pass our hello world okay so we will pass our hello world right. now if you see this yellow underline right so this indicates this variable is not in use so basically it is not in use now if i want to like print this hello world for that what i need to do say remove hello world remove the thing and pass the variable over here we are passing the variable over here now the yellow mark gone right now it is in use okay so if whatever i gave here hello world hello world okay so some dot 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 so save it and if i run the thing okay so it is taking from this variable so when i am printing this thing right i am i can print the variable over here so what this variable so whatever the variable having right whatever the content it having it will print okay so you can say like uh, whatever the data type say in say my number equals to and give some number 3456 Okay, where it is? Uh, say this number. Now you can pass the variable okay, to here, and it will print. You guys understanding, right? Uh, do you guys understanding? If you don't, please uh, say say if you have some problem. okay so i hope you guys like understood how we declare the variable and how it actually work okay so this is not the full like uh, there's lot of syntax over there we will discuss like it's already uh, 8 or 22 right so we should like stop like so please tell me everyone like 
are you able to get this thing right how it is happening i hope you guys already familiar with this things okay we'll see okay before uh, like ending the session i want to share your attendance and you need to give the attendance okay This guy do give your attendance. Waiting room participant is not doing this. Why everyone is in waiting room? Okay, I'm stop sharing the screen and Okay, uh, let me share the so please give the attendance. Okay, and we will see like uh, we will do the practical thing and side by side we will clear our uh, theoretical knowledge also. Okay, how it is sir. going? To... Yes, say hey, Himanshu. How can I install uh, Eclipse, sir? And how uh, you, can I set up Eclipse? Okay, okay. So you should uh, come this with earlier, right? Uh, that I already asked. Uh, just wait a minute. I will say stroke. 